This is So Fucked, and I'm here with Mike from Devil Driver. Okay, so you guys have a tour coming up with Cannibal Corpse in the Europe and the UK. Yes, Are you excited for that one? Yeah. Anything you're looking forward to? I think it's, it's really cool for me because Cannibal Corpse was the first death metal band I ever got into. I saw Ace Ventura and uh, actually hit pause, <laughs> went got on my skateboard, went down to Tower Records down the street and got the bleeding. And um, it's cool, I mean, you know, to be able to headline with, with a band that's been around for, you know, 20, 25 years. So are you from Sacramento? No, I'm from, born and raised in Torrance, California. Oh, I didn't know they had a tower down there, Tower Records. Oh, it's long gone. Yeah, they, they you miss to. it? Were you super bummed when it closed? Not I really. almost cried. I mean, it closed, I moved to Santa Barbara and I was living up there for about five years. I think it closed now, I think it's an, it's an FYE now, so they still have CDs, but... Who buy CDs anymore? I don't. Yeah, I do. <laughs> okay, so I rarely do. Every now and then I will. I don't have rarely. a port in my car, so it's all CDs or radio. And the radio's too repetitive. <laughs> so, um, so did you guys all meet in Santa Barbara? Yes. Were any of you raised there? No. Uh, Des is from Southern California like me. The other three guys were originally from the Boston area. And we all ended up at Santa Barbara City College together, except for Des, and that's how the three of us met. And we were in a band together called Grolby, uh, John Berklin, John Miller, and Jeff Kendrick and I. And when that bro band broke up, we all kind of just one by one ended up joining Double Driver. Right on. Okay, so your guys' fifth album, Beast, came out two years after your Billboard hit after you hit billboards on number 35 with Pray for Villains mm -hmm. and what made that one such a big hit like big change because when you go to your Facebook you guys your bio is like almost all about how crazy Beast is and it's the best thing ever that just came out like, consciously we you know the first record that we that Devil Driver did was very very different compared to the, the last four we did because it was written by a guy named Evan Pitts he's the guy that I replaced And then the fear of our maker's hand, last kind of words, I kind of see those as two of the, you know, similar records. You know, we were kind of discovering who we are and who we wanted to be. And then when we did Pray for Villains, it was, we kind of, you know, just went a different direction. So, you know, the, the writing process on that record was a lot different. And um, at first, some of our fans I, were a little bit taken back by Pray for Villains because I think it was a little bit more, you know, mellow, a little bit more melodic, mm -hmm. a little bit more European sounding. And we, with Beast, we consciously want to do almost the exact opposite with that. And we wanted everything just to be a lot heavier, a lot more brutal, you know, have a little bit more of a thrashy vibe to it. And that was the end result of how we got Beast. All right. So is that like one of your favorite albums? Or nope. Which, which is your favorite? I'd say Last Kind Words and Pray for Villains are my favorite. Yeah. So you did like what you're trying to get away from, I guess? Yeah. And the record that we're currently working on is... I would Kinda say it's more comparable to Last Kind Words and The Fury of a Maker's Hand. Okay. So what did you guys do for Halloween? Halloween, we played Denver, Colorado, and then I went to go see Skrillex. Ooh, right on. <laughs> so played a great show in Denver, and I uh, had my girlfriend with me, which was awesome, and a bunch of us got in a van, went to go see Skrillex uh, for about an hour until a bus call. <laughs> But... Uh, I'm very much into electronic music and industrial, and I kind of see dubstep as just modern-day industrial. Do you think you'll ever throw some of that in? And your... Devil Driver? I doubt it. Not even a little sneak? Anything's possible, <laughs> but uh, as of now, we've really... We do have one song on the next record that does have electronic stuff on it. It wasn't really meant to be a Devil Driver song. Mm -hmm. That's something me and the other guys worked on, and Des seems to like it. He really wants to put it on the record, and but time will tell. We may or may not put it on the record. Who knows? But it's definitely not dubstep. It so there has, might be one coming out. It just has some electronic programming, and it, you know, it's just a little salt and pepper. It's not definitely not dubstep. <laughs> Nothing, not too close? No. Okay. So... You a baseball fan? Nope. No? So you didn't watch the World Series? No. Didn't go for the Giants? All right. Well, Can't do you have any tattoos? Not, not one. Not one? Not one. You ever thought about getting one? I've been thinking about getting one. I've First, I wanted a half, uh, half sleeve, and then now I'm kind of debating putting something up my arms that's symmetrical. And, you know, basically falling apart here. Uh, 
you know, something kind of symmetrical that goes up both my arms and like down my back, you know, just, and I do know that if I do get something that's going to be solid black, I don't want any color, mm. but uh, I just can't really think of anything that I want to put on my body forever. Will so, you ever think about like a devil driver tattoo? Nah. Any matching I, tattoos? No, uh, it's, I mean, Jeff has it. Des has it, our old bass player has one, but I see putting your band's logo on your, on it, it can, for me personally, it's just kind of like putting your girlfriend or wife's name on it, it's just kind of a jinx. Yeah. And, uh, nah, I don't see myself ever getting a double driver tattoo. All right. Um, so what do you do for fun when you're in Santa Barbara? Do you still well, live there? Well, I'm not there? in Santa Barbara, I'm back in Torrance now. Okay. And, you know, I, my girlfriend lives in North Hollywood, so I'm kind of back and forth between there. But... Uh, spent a lot of time surfing and kiteboarding when I'm at home. Those are my two favorite hobbies. And then I have my own recording studio and, you know, either work with bands as far as producing, mixing, um, mastered one record. You know, I don't know a whole lot about mastering, but apparently the band liked it. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, that's pretty much takes up most of my time. Is there going to be any producing in your future? Possibly. I just finished up a band called Thrown Into Exile. Yeah, that's based out of LA, and I haven't really had a chance to go out and look for other bands to produce because I'm working on a new Devil Driver record right now. So as soon as that's done, I'm sure uh, most of the producing and mixing things have just kind of fallen into my lap in the last couple of years. So I'm just see what happens after the Devil Driver record's done, but I'm sure they'll. I'll continue on doing that for sure. Looking for new hobbies and stuff? It's not new hobbies. I, really, I enjoy producing. Yeah. And I, I like being in the studio. And, you know, Devil Driver can only do it every two years or so. So it's, um, it's fun for me. Yeah. Do you have any, like, idea of when your next album is going to be released or title I, or anything? Titles, we've been going back and forth. We did have a pretty solid title, but we've all, I won't say what it is, but we're still on the on the search for it. Mm -hmm. But it's looking, it's going to be mid to late 2013. All right. Is there anything you want to add? Nope. No? <laughs> All right. Happy to be in Sacramento. It's the first time we played here. Ace of Spades. This is the this first time? Yeah, it's a cool venue. Have you ever been to Burgers and Brews? That's no, nice. but I did notice that when I got off the bus it's today. It's delicious. Is it? Everybody goes there. All right, well, maybe I'll go over there today. It's tradition. Hopefully it's open late. I think so. Yeah, maybe. Okay. Well, it was nice talking to you. Thank you, very much. Thank you for the interview. Bye.